Guys, one year locked in on fitness is all it takes to completely change your life. But you know what? It doesn't even take one year because whenever I think back to the times of my life where I made the most progress and I got the best results, it was always after making a decision to commit, okay? And that decision to commit, it happened in an instant. So my hope for you after watching this video is that you're finally going to make a decision to commit to your fitness journey. Because if you clicked on this video, chances are you're probably not happy with how you look right now, or you know you could do better with your fitness. Maybe you wanna build some muscle, lose some fat, whatever it is, you're probably not where you wanna be. And if we just shift your perspective slightly, this whole fitness journey, it's just gonna be so much easier for you. It's eventually, it's gonna to get to the point where you're just doing this on autopilot. All right, guys, so I got four ideas that I wanna share with you. And the first one is that fitness is a skill, okay? It's a skill like any other skill, and it can just be developed with time and practice and repetition. You get better at it. And the more skilled you are at that thing, the less you have to try, okay? Maybe there's something you're really skilled at. Maybe you're really skilled at business and making money, or maybe you're really good at playing an instrument, or maybe it's a sport, or maybe it's dating women. I don't know, you know, whatever it is, I'm sure there's some area of your life right now where you know you're highly skilled and you're probably better than the vast majority of people. And all you have to do is think back to when you first started doing that thing. Chances are at the beginning, you weren't very good, okay? When I started my first business, oh boy, I wasn't very good. And I told myself, you know, I had a lot of limiting beliefs. I told myself, James, you can't do this. James, you're not good enough. Uh, why don't you just get a job, James? I told myself all these different reasons as to why I wasn't gonna succeed. And that is what a lot of you do, a lot of you do is, you know, you believe that getting in shape is difficult. I read some of these comments on these videos. Oh, James, but getting in shape is so hard. Fitness is so hard. No, it's not. It's not hard at all. That is just what you believe to be true. And if you believe that, then that will become your reality, okay? The power of your beliefs. You can have the best information in the world, the best coaches. You can be given everything on a silver platter and made super easy for you. But if you don't believe it's possible, it will never happen, all right? And a good example of this is Roger Bannister. If you don't know who Roger, Roger Bannister is, he's the, he's, the guy, he's the first guy to ever run a mile under four minutes, okay? And before he did that, everyone said it's impossible to run a mile under four minutes. You know, doctors deemed it impossible and just no one had ever done it before and doctors said it would never be done. And Roger Bannister did a race, he ran a mile under four minutes and everyone was like, whoa, shocked, okay? The very next year, loads of people ran a mile under four minutes. And what changed? The only thing that changed is now people believed it's possible because they saw someone else do it. And this is kind of the, the philosophy that I have towards, towards life really is if someone else has already done what I want to do, then why can't I do it too, okay? So fitness is a skill. It just needs to be developed, expose yourself to the right information, hire a coach if you need to, and that will just help speed up this journey and make it so much easier for you, okay? The second thing to consider, the second idea, is that particularly when it comes to building muscle, most of your gains are gonna be made in that first year, okay? Or at least once you start doing everything correctly, because when I first started training, okay, I didn't have a clue what I was doing. And for maybe like one or two years, I really didn't make that much progress. But that was just my fault because, you know, I didn't really, fitness YouTube wasn't a massive thing back then. And I wasn't really actively researching and studying and just trying to get better. I was just going in and going through the motions without actually knowing what I was doing. Okay. But these days, there's just no excuse. There's just so much information online. And if you do everything correctly, or the point at which you start doing everything correctly, you're gonna make more progress in that first year than you will in any other year because it's something called newbie gains. It's just when you, it's a new stimulus for your muscles and they just grow a lot faster at the beginning. Now it gets to the point for me now where I don't really make that much progress. I don't really notice if I have gained muscle or not. I just do it because I like to do it. I just enjoy it, it makes me feel good, it makes me feel healthy. 
But um, at the beginning, you will make a lot of progress and see visible results like almost on a weekly basis. And that becomes very easy to stay motivated. But then after a while, you know, you kind of just shift from focusing on results to just doing it because you love to do it. And if you do this, if you commit to fitness for one year, it will eventually become on autopilot. It will be something that you do just without thinking about it. You'll even start to enjoy it. And that's when it really starts to just change your life because you're fit, you're healthy, you're feeling confident, uh, you feel you know proud of the body that you look, but also it's not a grind. It's not something you're really having to overthink and it just allows you to just focus on those other important areas of your life, whether it's your business or your family or relationships or women or whatever, right? So that's the second point is that most of your gains are going to be made in the first year, which is why you just got to knuckle down and just get through that little grind period at the beginning where it feels uncomfortable, where there's a lot to learn, new calories, macronutrients, what to eat, how to train, when to train, etc. I get it. It's a lot of stuff at the beginning, but just push through that and make a commitment just for one year and you will look back and it'll be one of the best decisions you've ever made. All right. Point number three is that maintaining is easier than building. Okay, so to actually build new muscle tissue, it requires a much harder training stimulus. And also, you just got to be more regimented with your diet and more on point with everything. And to, to get to, you know, building a physique is so much harder than just simply maintaining. And when you're first starting fitness, you, we kind of have this perception that, oh, it's tough right now and it's always going to be that way but it's not, it's just tough at the beginning because your skill level is low, right? So your skill level is low, you have to make up for it in work ethic. But as your skill level comes up, your work ethic, well, you still gotta, I'm not saying you don't have to work hard, of course you do, but you don't have to, it doesn't have to feel as difficult, it's not as much of a grind, all right? So maintaining is much easier than building. So, and also another point on this is, it gets harder as you get older. So the best time to get in shape was a year ago, okay? Best time you could have done it was a year ago. The second best time to do it is now. So don't wait because every year you wait is that every year it gets harder. Like once you get, uh, you know, your 40s, 50s, 60s, building new muscle is so much harder than if you're trying to do it in your 20s or 30s. So I wouldn't delay this, especially if you've been thinking about it for a while or maybe even some of you for a few years and you haven't started yet. Every year you delay is another year it gets harder. And also it's just another year of you living in a body that you're not proud of. And let's be honest, we don't have many years on this planet. Every day that you show up for work and you've got a flabby belly, maybe you got the man boobs or whatever, you just know deep down that this, this body is not representative of who you are as an individual. That affects you in every single area of your life. Whereas if you wake up in the morning and you look in the mirror and you're like, yeah, I'm the man, okay? That attitude permeates through everything that you do whether it's at work, whether it's speaking with women, whether it's, you know, connecting with friends or, or whatever, it affects every single area of your life. So you can't afford to not be in shape. Like life is too short to not be in shape. And it's literally so easy. It's one of the highest ROI decisions you'll ever make in your entire life. Because if we just look at your life for a second, let's say we're going to live to a hundred years. Okay. A hundred years, one year of that is just 1%. It's a tiny fraction. And you're telling me you can't invest a tiny fraction of your life to continually reap benefits for year after year after year. Because it's not just about building muscle and the losing fat. Like I said, it's the mental changes that take place. How you interact with the world is different. And just generally, you're more healthier, you've got better energy levels, and you're more positive. And because of that, you're gonna have more success in business, in relationships, with women, every single area of your life improves for what cost? The cost of three hours a week. If Jeff Bezos and Mark Zuckerberg can run these massive billion dollar companies and they can still get in shape and get jacked, then I'm pretty sure me and you, we have three hours a week to get in shape because when you have the right strategy and the right systems and the right processes in place, 
It doesn't have to feel hard. It doesn't have to feel restrictive. And anyone can do it in literally just three hours a week. So stop telling yourself you can't do it. You can do it. Stop telling yourself you don't have time. You do have time. If you need some help with this, I do coaching. I've got a one-on-one -on -one mentorship where I work with you every step of the way to get you looking and feeling better than ever before. If you're interested in that, the link is down below. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps. Just lock in for one year and I guarantee you'll look back and it's one of the best decisions you'll ever make. Bye.